welcome to the fate of Ukraine channel. Another country is officially participating in the war between Ukraine and Russia. The country, which will join the war with its 1.5 million soldiers, has given a red alert. Making preparations for general mobilization and military economy, the country, which is Putin's closest ally, has completed all its preparations to join the war. NATO has issued a red alert. After the NATO Secretary General stated that if another country joins the war, the war would spread around the world, such an event increased the tension. Tensions in the north of Ukraine are higher than ever before. Belarusian authorities are aware that they have made a big mistake. However, it was too late. The Belarusian prime minister stated that if there is any attack on his country, they will fight. Less than a week after the president's statements, large explosions took place on the territory of Belarus. Before it could be determined who made the explosions, the Belarusian army was ordered to prepare for war. Preparations for nationwide military economy and general mobilization decisions began immediately. Unprecedented security measures have also begun to be taken at all military bases in Belarus at the moment. Belarusian news outlets and residents and Belarusian law enforcement agencies are in high activity. In addition, the army began to establish checkpoints within the country. Belarusian news channels stated that great preparations were made near the village of Bereznoy, 30 kilometers from the Ukrainian border, and the army was constantly patrolling. Soldiers also began to appear everywhere along the R-147 highway in the Pinsk region of Belarus. Local news sources also stated that the army stopped all vehicles and carried out inspections. In addition to these events, Belarusian military personnel began to arrive in the Gansevichi region, where the Volga radar station is located, in the military airport Machalishi region. Currently, a large number of Belarusian army and armored vehicles continue to advance to the northern border of Ukraine by convoying. An unprecedented number of soldiers are also expected to attack. The reason why the tension of the war increased so much was a major attack on the Belarusian military airport in Machalishi. That's why all military bases in Belarus have been issued a red alert. High-ranking Belarusian officials also decided to meet urgently. This is how tensions increased after some sources announced that the attack was carried out by Ukraine. After two drones attacked a military airfield in Machalishi, the Lukashenko administration began preparations for war. Military experts also noted that after the general mobilization, 1.5 million people in Belarus could join the war. After this situation, which could change the fate of the war, great preparations began on the NATO side. Because NATO stated that if any other country joins the war, they will send troops to the region. A worldwide conflict may break out. However, Belarus admitted that it made a huge mistake after these events. An unmanned aerial vehicle attack was carried out on the Russian Bereve A-50 type early warning aircraft at an airbase near the capital Minsk. Belarusian opposition announced that a Russian warplane was destroyed by Belarusians near the capital Minsk. This event was described as the most successful sabotage operation since the beginning of the war in Ukraine. Belarusians, who supported Ukraine in the war, neutralized a 300 million euro Russian air command plane. My friends in the region confirmed that a special operation to blow up a rare Russian plane was successful at Machlishi Air Base near Minsk, said Franik Bayakorka, senior advisor to Belarus exiled opposition leader Svetlana Tykhanovskaya. Viokarka also stated that two Belarusians carried out the operation using the drone, that these people left the country and are now safe. It was not specified which plane was targeted, but it was stated that the cost of the plane was around 330 million euros. According to news outlets close to the opposition, the plane hit was an A-50 observation and command aircraft. I am proud of all Belarusians who continue to resist Russia's use of Belarus and fight for Ukraine's freedom, said Svetlana Tykhanovskaya. There was no explanation from the Russian army regarding the claim. However, the Lukashenko administration changed the purpose of its preparations after the attack was carried out by a Belarusian. Belarus, the only European ally in Moscow's attack on Ukraine, does not directly participate in Russia's attacks on Ukraine but allowed it to use its territory for the first attack a year ago. According to Kiev, Russia also uses the Belarusian airport for its attacks. The attack on the Russian Bereve A-50 type early warning aircraft at Machulishi Air Base outside the capital Minsk has still not been confirmed by the Belarusian government. Things keep getting bigger. 
large uprisings in groups began to form against the Lukashenko rule. Azarov, who was against the government, also stated that the plans for the attack took several months. Also, currently anti-government groups began to prepare for further attacks. However, Azarov did not provide any evidence to support the attack claim. Frank Vyakorka, an advisor to Belarusian opposition leader Svetlana Sikhanovskaya, also officially stated that two Belarusians carried out the attack. The advisor to the opposition leader said that the UAVs damaged the front and middle parts of the Bereev A-50 aircraft, including the radar antenna and avionics. Since the beginning of the war, various sabotage continues to be carried out in Belarus and areas of Russia bordering Ukraine, especially on railway lines. Shipments sent to the Russian army's troops in Belarus are at a standstill. Immediately after these events, Belarusian Security Council State Secretary Alexander Volfovich said that in case of martial law or war, Belarus' military potential will be at the level of 1.5 million people. Belarus, which acts together with Russia but does not have soldiers on the warfront, gave figures on the military potential in the army in case of possible war or martial law. Belarusian Security Council State Secretary Alexander Volfovich, in his statements to Belarusian state television, emphasized that they are ready for a possible war or martial law, and said, in the event that martial law is declared and the economy is put into war, Belarus' military potential will reach the level of 1.5 million people. Belarusian Security Council State Secretary Alexander Volfovich also gave information about the popular power that is expected to be enacted in Belarus in the coming periods adding that these demands of those who want to join the army can be legitimized. It was also revealed that the Lukashenko administration would not enter the war after the attackers were Belarusians. Quite interesting events continue to occur in the frontier regions of Ukraine. Ukrainian armed forces shot down a Russian warplane near Avdiivka, Donetsk. Thus, the Russian Air Force shot down a total of 300 Russian aircraft. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked the Ukrainian army for downing the plane. The Ukrainian general staff said in a statement that Russia has lost 300 aircraft since the attempted attack, which began a year ago. The great advance of the Ukrainian army in the southern part has raised the Kremlin to the level of alarm. Russian troops in the Mariupol area began to smuggle their ammunition and equipment from the area to reposition. According to the British Ministry of Defense's daily intelligence report, Russian forces stated that there was great chaos in the wake of the Ukrainian advance. In the past few weeks, the Ukrainian army has carried out 14 different attacks near Mariupol. As a result of these attacks, Russian forces are preparing to withdraw from the region. We have come to the end of another video. You can like the video to support us. By subscribing, you can easily follow new videos. See you.